Okay, here is a folding guide that I use. I don't make the marks on each side. Um, I have a mark. Oh, I'm not sure how far. That's the first mark, however far it is on the pattern. One inch, and then a half of an inch, and half an inch. So what happens, I lay this on here. I give it a little press. And then I grab here at the two line, just like we did before, and bring it up to whoop, the one line. And once again, I'm looking through the camera instead right at the project, so it's kind of tricky. Anyway, so we're going to press that. And then we're going to go to the three line. And quite honestly, I really don't look at those lines anymore. You kind of get the feel of it. But what I want to do is have this end up to be four inches. Because then when I have my pieces cut at five and a half for the binding, they just work really well. And if it's a little smaller, no biggie. I just try not to have it any bigger than that. So once again, I lay this on here, give it a little press, take the two line up to the one line or thereabouts, and try to keep the pleats straight, but some of my pleats haven't been that straight, and guess what? They will still do the job that they are intended. I haven't heard of any sewing police being out there telling us that our things are not. We just want to use the correct materials. And there we go. So that is how I press.